Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will be taking a look at the brand new One X Player handheld gaming PC. We will be unboxing it and doing an overview of the One X Player device and features. Let's get started with unboxing the One X Player. Inside we have the One X player which we will take a closer look at shortly. Underneath is a quick start guide which is in Chinese and English. Inside the box is a higher quality braided USB type C cable which is used for charging and data transfer. And last but not least is the USB charger we will include the correct adapter for your country. We will now take a closer look at the One X player and its features. It measures 11.3 by 5.1 by 0.8 inches and weighs 820 grams. The display is an 8.3 inch full fit FHD IPS screen with a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600. It supports 10-point touch and also supports the one netbook stylus which is available to buy separately. There are clickable dual analog joysticks which are manufactured by Alps, widely known for their high quality sticks. There is a classic D-pad and four gaming buttons. There are back and start buttons located on either side of the screen. Towards the bottom is a desktop button which will minimise all open windows and show the desktop. On the right is a keyboard and mouse button which when pressed shows an on-screen keyboard. Below that is a turbo mode switch button which lights up when active. And last but not least there are stereo speakers on either side of the screen. On the back you can find the combined power button and fingerprint sensor which you can use to quickly and safely log into Windows. On one side you have volume up and down buttons and on the other is a mute button. A nice feature is the built in stand which lifts up. You can then sit the One X player on a flat surface which is great when using it as a desktop PC or watching Droix videos on YouTube. On either side on the top of the One X player there are touch click bumper and linear analog trigger buttons. In the middle are two USB 4.0 Type-C ports. These can be used for charging the handheld and high speed data transfer. You can also connect it to an external eGPU graphics card or connect it to a hub with video output to a TV or monitor for example. There is a micro SD card slot for additional storage. And finally there is a USB 3.0 port which can be used to connect peripherals. Inside you can find Wi-Fi 6 support and Bluetooth 5.0 for wireless communication. Stay tuned for the second part of our video covering the One X player where we will be checking over the technical specs of the i5 and i7 models as well as playing some AAA Windows games and emulators. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already and we hope to see you in the next video.